Ladies, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I have uh, two new products from CoverGirl, and CoverGirl was nice enough to send them to me. I was so ecstatic and thrilled. They had sent me um, just, these are the empty little packets over here, and the new products are over here. Um, so thank you very much, CoverGirl. I am um, just honored and excited to do this. And of course I will give you my honest opinion and review, and I will also do a demo what the products are is this here is the new the Super Sizer Mascara from CoverGirl and it comes here's the packaging that it will come in um, it says the Super Sizer by Lash Blast Mascara 400% corner to corner volume um, this is in what is it very black very black so that's one product. The other new product that has um, come out is uh, Intensify Me by Lash Blast. It's a new um, eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and it comes like this. It's a black. I don't know if they come in any other colors. Um, I haven't really checked on that part. And it's intense black, yeah. Okay, so they sent me these two new products here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I already used them twice. This will be my third time now, um, which I can feel like I can give you a pretty good, honest review because this will be my third time using them. And um, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate them first and go with that. All right, so of course I'm going to do the liquid eyeliner first, and it's called the Intensify, Intensify Me Liquid Eyeliner. It has a new paddled tip, thick to thin, no mess, okay? And you know how like most eyeliners, um, liquid eyeliners, they have the pointed tip on them, um, you know, the, the precise pointed tip? This is so different and unique. Um, I don't know if I've seen other eyeliners like this quite or not, I, I don't know. But this is what this one looks like. I'm going to have it faced this way first for you. I'm going to use this for a moment so I can put it up against this so you can kind of see. So as you can see, the thing does, this does not have a pointed tip. It has more of a flat. This is like the front of it and it's wide and flat. If you turn it to the side, You'll also see, and should be able to tell how flat it is, and it is rounded. Whoops, <laughs> I'm trying to hold this properly. It is rounded, uh, as you can see there. So, um, you can do a thick lash or a thinner lash, which obviously if you hold it this way, to, at the front of it, it will make the thicker lash, and if you turn it off to the side, is where you'll get your smaller, uh, or smaller eyeliner, not lashes. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the, um, or I can show you on my hand here, for the thicker, and it's a very dark in color. It's not no... So that's the thicker lash, or thicker mouth, liner, geez, I'll get it right, thicker liner. And then I'm going to turn it to the side and do a smaller, more precise. So there you go. All right. So I'm going to bring you guys in. All right. So we're going to bring me in and I'm I'm probably going to go ahead and use the I'm going to do a little bit of the thicker and then make it more thin. Simon jumping off. More thin in the inner towards the inner tear duck. So I'll be doing half and half. So I'm going to go ahead and like I said as you can see maybe you can I'm going to bend down a little bit more and see if you guys can see me very well as I apply this, which I'm going to make sure I have it 
flat. So, so far you can see right there the line that I'm making. Make sure I'm still... Okay, and then I'm going to tilt it to the side and work my way in here. I had all my other makeup on, I just didn't... Um, I didn't want to put the other makeup on. So there you go. You can see the way I have it on my eyes. It's nice and black. Pretty nice intense black. Um, glides on very smooth, very nice. And the other thing, since it's not pointed like some are, I actually can do in the upper inner rim. I would never be able to do that. Like I have seen some do that. I wouldn't be able to do that, but with it like this, I can actually work it up in through there. Oh, that's my cat <laughs> making noise. I'm thinking, what? I'm gonna get a couple of the areas, like dab, a couple areas there. But pretty much, that is it. Okay. So you can see it really does a nice job. Alright. Do my other eye, and then I'll be back now to do the mascara. Because I figured you don't need to see me doing the other eye since you already seen me do this one. So, Okay. The mascara. The Super Sizer. This wand is very different for me. Um, it kind of is more small, it's more small at the end, and then it gets bigger to the, at the top here. So, um, it's, it's kind of different and unique. And the bristles are like little, almost like a little comb, like as you can see there, how the bristles are. Um... I think it's plastic, if anybody wants to know. It does seem to maneuver pretty well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes, how I always do. I'm not going to really do anything different. So, um, And I always start, <clears throat> and it does say to start at the base and then work up, which, but that's what I always do. I even do the wiggle motion and all them kind of things. So. Let's go ahead and work with that. And it also says, like, once you have a grip of it, you can twirl it if you want. You can do a twirling motion. So, like that, how I'm doing there. I'm twirling it in an upward motion. It has been crazy here. Okay, I'm going to work in here a little bit more. This part's the challenge for me. I don't know why. Like, it's like one eye I can do much better than the other eye. Sort of like your eyebrows. It is crazy. Now, I like to take it and tip it this way, as you can see, and kind of grab a hold of some lashes there. Alright. I 
Okay. So this is just one coat on my eyes right now. That's just one coat. All right. I'm going to do another coat. I always stick with what Mally she would always say two coats on the top, one on the bottom. And I just like to stick with that pretty much. I mean, obviously you don't have to put a coat on the bottom. Some people don't like to do that. It's just preference, really. It's not like, you know, somebody has to do that. Usually what I like to do too is when I get towards the top part, I kind of just lightly flick it up and kind of try to get it all. All right. So now we are on to two coats. Bring it in again. And you can see, uh, trying to see if you can see the eyeliner, or the, now I'm saying eyeliner. First I was making a mistake with the mascara part, now I'm saying eyeliner. Get it right, Lori. But there you go. You can see how it flares out. All right, then I'm gonna do them on the bottom. And what I like about this brush is, since I do like to do the bottom, and the way that the bristles are on here, like a comb, it is really easy to work, for me anyway, to work on my bottom lashes. And I just wiggle ever so slightly. I don't go mad crazy or anything. Which this is harder than I thought because when I'm filming it is harder. Okay, and I just do like a little flare. See how I have my... Yeah, nice little flare. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye, and then I will be back with my review. Okay, so I did the other eye, and I got finished with them both now, like the eyeliner's on. The, that's what I didn't, I was, I had my makeup all on when I first came on here, but the only two things I didn't have was my eyeliner and my um, mascara. So, um, my, o my overall um, thoughts on these products, I really like them. I really do. I mean, I'm not just saying that because they sent them to me or they're telling me to say this or anything. I mean, I really do like them. Um, for the mascara, the Super Sizer, I honestly don't know if I've ever tried a CoverGirl mascara. If I did, it could have been uh, so long ago in the past. I, I really don't know because mostly the ones I would grab is um, like maybe ones from Maybelline, Rimmel, or L'Oreal. So, um, but th this here, this mascara right here is really good. And I really like the Butterfly Intensa from L'Oreal. I really do. And I still do. And I will probably even repurchase that at some point. But then... This almost seems just as good as the Butterfly Intensa. Like when you're getting up close, the one thing that I really like this just a teeny tad better than the L'Oreal Butterfly Intensa is the fact that the wand works so well for my bottom lashes. Now, this is me talking, this is my preference, this is 
um, you know, my thoughts on it and everything. Not everybody might agree with this, but like I like to have the lower lash, you know, out or you know, done and everything. And um, you know, the butterfly intensity it, it works there. But the way that this comb is made on here, the way that this whole thing is, and how it's more smaller towards the back here, and the way the comb is on here, it works great for the bottom lashes for me. And yes, I would say to pick it up, give it a try, and see for yourself. Now, I am blessed with not too bad of lashes. Um, my lashes aren't very small and sparse or anything. I do have pretty decent lashes. I mean, I don't have the greatest lashes, but I have decent lashes. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm not sure. I would think the way this works, that it would work pretty good for somebody that does have small lashes. Um, the price point for this, I think was $6.89 or $6.98. Anywhere where they sell, obviously, CoverGirl, so any stores that, you know, sell CoverGirl. I did see it at my Walmart um, when I was in there yesterday. Yes, I would, I would recommend this. Then, okay, we have the CoverGirl Intensify Me Eyeliner. This here, if I had to say out of the two, if somebody said out of the two, this one excited me even more, the, the most. Why it did is because how intensifying the color is, the black itself, of how well it goes on. Um, it is liquid eyeliner. I have come to really love liquid eyeliner the best. I do like gel, and I will use a gel liner, and I do like the pencil ones, but liquid is my favorite, especially to use on the top. I mean, the other ones I would, you know, mostly use in the waterline, but for the upper part, uh, top part above my lashes there, I really love a good liquid liner. And the one I use a lot, again, it's another L'Oreal, it's the Carbon Black, and it is by far my favorite liquid eyeliner that I have had. However, <laughs> I have to say, this knocked it off. This is going to be my favorite liquid eyeliner and that is no joke um, and the reason is because it doesn't have that pointed tip like a majority of most eyeliners have that real pointed tip which I was I, I do I do like because I felt like oh yeah you know it would do my eyeliner really good I could do the cat wing thing if I wanted to and I just liked how it glided across well but this is like so much more easier. I think this is going to be a lot of people's favorite or uh, a, a very well liked one for them because of the fact the way that this is made flat like that and you don't have to worry so much. I mean obviously anything you put near your eye you can poke your eye but however it's not that pointed tip and so when I get that I mean it gives me that right I didn't struggle at all if you noticed. I mean, but the L'Oreal one, I have to be really careful. This one here just seems, I, I just have an easier time to glide it across. I, I don't know. It's just, it's so much easier. It doesn't go on that shiny, you know how some can be shiny, um, a shiny uh, eyeliner. It's not shiny. It seems to go on just perfectly, like almost that matte or whatever kind of just the way I like it, because I don't like the shiny black. Uh, that's not for me. That's not something I do like. Um, this is around about eight dollars. Um, wherever you know the the um, CoverGirl is sold, my Walmart did not have this, so I'm not sure. You know, like how soon some of these products will be coming out. I did because I was curious and why I was when I seen the um, mascara. Um, I even thought about grabbing another one of the eyeliners. So I had, I mean, that's how much I'm, I'm loving this. So, I mean, I really enjoy both of them. I give them both a, two thumbs up. I really think they are really good. I was very impressed. I was really happy with them. I really enjoyed them both. 
I definitely say go and give them a try. If you are somebody that struggles with eyeliners, I'm, I, I really feel a majority of people that have problems like how I have, and I'm no pro. You know I me, mean? I am no pro whatsoever with any of that kind of stuff. And I think a majority of people are really going to enjoy this eyeliner for the same reasons I, I like it and I enjoy it. So, yeah. Um, that is it. So thank you so much, beauties. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I would so appreciate it. It would help me out too. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would so love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and see a video for me each week. I put up a couple times in a week or something like that. Just depends. But And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself. Love yourself and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you have to take care. And I'll see you then.